My name is Kent Riley and I play Stone. Well, the rehearsal process um, in this first week has been from what I've been doing for the last couple of years, not in short or spectacular. Only because I just think just to have the luxury of really sitting and talking about characters and where they've gone, where they've come where they're coming from, where they're going, um, where they are currently. Um, the emotions that are driving, you know, each character, each scene is just you know, it's it's a breath of fresh air because I think that's what ultimately makes things good is everyone understanding it. Um, so in terms of the rehearsal, I'm just it's just nice to be up and you know and, and, and doing things. You know, as we said, it's it's still um, we're still finding our feet a lot of the time with it. But I mean, the play as a play, I think can be unbelievable only because it's a story really that I think everyone can kind of relate to with a moment or moments in your life where maybe you, you, you know you're struggling to find yourself and especially in the in the era that I, you know it's set I think as I said yesterday about kind of just a comment on the, the costumes the backdrop of what we're talking about in the play is is really really dull and, and and sad, really, the the actual, you know, the, the environment. But because of the, you know, the the, the kind of the deed that it's in, fashion-wise and and stuff like that, everything's quite dramatic, quite um, bold, powerful statement clothing, really, a lot of the time. So that them kind of contrasts along with the contrast of characters and, and content, I think will just, you know, translate brilliantly to anyone who watches it. He's a lost soul. He struggles to... struggles and fights so hard to hold down what kind of friendship he has because he's almost broken beyond repair. Um, his personality is one that, fueled with drugs, is destructful and quite um, forced. I think. I think. His actual personality isn't what it could be, or it should be, or it just is. I think a lot of it's quite projected to to form a, a facade, almost a, you know, a perception of who Stone is, which is probably the main not struggle for me, but the main excitement currently is is finding who Stone really is. Because he's such a, a powerful character in in terms of what's written, I want to find where where he actually is, you know, where he's really at. Because a lot of it, I believe, within the script is is that projected perception of what he wants people to think he is.